So the West Ham Invitational, at least for third place, goes to the Moose as they finish with a final of 67-58 to go to 2-1 to start out their 2018-2019 season. These two gentlemen have to be the big reason why. 19 points each by both Noah Collier and T.J. Berger. Gentlemen, congratulations on this win today. T.J., good to have you here on the Voice of Reason Network. Noah, great to have you back here on Voice of Reason. T.J., you just got set that rhythm going. Tell us about that. What was going through your mind when you took the floor today? Uh, yeah, coach, coach just told me before the game I was going to have to play with a lot of confidence uh, and look to shoot first. So I was just willing to do what my coach just told me. Again. For those of you who are getting water wondering, yes, this is in fact the same burger. This is the son of head coach Seth Burger. What's it like playing for your father? Uh, it's it's like the best experience of my life. I wouldn't trade it for It doesn't else. matter because he's your dad, right? Yeah, everything's <laughs> great. Everything's great. Well, watching you play today, it just seemed like you were uh, really getting in rhythm. Uh, tell us what was just going on with you. It did kind of seem like you were getting a little sloppy early. What did you feel like you needed to do to pick this up? Um, I, I know I made a bad turnover early throwing like a sloppy pass. Um, and the coaches just told me like, get rid of that pass, but like keep shooting, keep attacking, keep being aggressive. They were going, yeah, they were going into film. This team was shooting 35 foot jumpers and going in. This, this has been really been the, the storyline this weekend. Tell us how you managed to shut them down uh, from three. Yeah, we, we switched to a, a two three, and instead of protecting like the drives and high post, we tried to extend the two three out and protect against threes. And uh, coming up next, you'll play at the St. Uh, Maria Goretti Tournament at against the Miller School at Hagerstown. Uh, right now, the key question for you has to be the injuries. John Bull was out today. Uh, John Camden out. It's really been a, a story of health. What do you feel like you have to do moving forward? Um, I, I just got to take on the role of uh, being a leader and making sure we all understand that we, we can still win all these games without those guys. We would love to have them back, but we have a tough team to win those games. What's it like having this guy right next to you? It seems like the storyline just gets better and better. And then the guy right behind the camera, Frank Capang, what a night he had tonight. Let's talk about his performance. Can we talk about it? Let's talk about it. How big was Frank down Frank, the stretch? Frank plays, Frank plays so hard. Frank, Frank talks a lot on the court, whether it's to us or the other team. Um, and like, he just, Frank yeah. never complains. He just keeps going hard. It's, it's great he is he is a fun player and when him and John and that's really been the story is those two him and John coming over from Church Farm together what will that be like when those two take them? that could be scary that could be a scary front court it's crazy when they play together. could we be watching maybe the Spurs Tim Duncan and the Admiral it's a possibility on that it's something like that right, let's bring in let's it bring in the man like who we we've been dying to talk to as well Noah Collier you're not continuing to rise from Villanova all the way down to low D1 schools. Tell us about uh, what's been going on with you these days. Uh, I mean, I've just been in the gym with this team, going hard, practicing and getting ready for this season. We could have waited for this tournament, and I think we went out here. We didn't accomplish quite what we wanted, but we were able to pull out this last one. I think it was important. Tell us about your transition from coming up, I guess, uh, being one of the kind of, to now being the leader, kind of being the low guy on the totem pole to now being the high guy. Because it seems like everybody's really feeding off of you. Yeah, I mean, my first two years here were a learning experience. I mean, everything I did here was to get me ready for these days, basically. The last two years, just been a grind. That's what I needed, though. You've played with players like Mo Bamba uh, and Brandon Randolph, who are uh, basically NBA guys. You've played with Cam Resch, who's about to be in the NBA. Uh, what's the difference between playing with those guys and playing with this type of core? Guys who are, again, going to play Division One, but not yeah. the level that you've played with in the past. Uh, honestly, it's not that big of a difference. This team right here is, if anything, more unified than really? the last teams I played with. Yeah, I mean, I we have a tight core, yeah. and everybody vibes for each other. I mean, it's the same with those last teams, but nothing really changed. Like, there was no drop off. Obviously, we got better. Team final, uh, you are. How much fun is it playing with guys like Rob Brown? I love Rob Brown. What's not to love? Again, Noah oh, Collier, TJ Berger, Westtown, two and one to start their 2018 season. Gentlemen, good luck this weekend against Miller School in the St. Maria Goretti tournament. And of course, good to have Frank Capang again right behind the camera. As Westtown beats Covenant College Prep 67 to 58, they redeem or you say avenge last night's loss to Perky Oman and finish in third place. Gentlemen, congratulations, Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.